sprouts. It's your girl, Onion. And I have a couple of videos that are gonna come out pretty soon. Um, I'm gonna record a couple of videos today. And I just wanna talk about some how-tos from Onion's opinion. That's what we're gonna call this improv. Perfect, beautiful. How to's from Onion's Opinion. So, first video I wanted to make was how to keep your voice. I don't know how many times I get people that are like, oh my gosh, I lost my voice. And I'm like, well, maybe if you weren't yelling and screaming at all times of the day, you wouldn't lose your voice. But that's just me, you know, I just. That's just me, I don't do that a lot. So, just a couple tips for not losing your voice. Number one will be drink more water. There's so many things that will turn out better for your life if you just drink more water. And this is coming from a person that two years ago, before I started my freshman year of college, I despised water. I hated water. Now, I can barely go a day without drinking water. Like, it's horrible. Like, I wake up and I'm like, where's my cup of water? Like, where's the water? I need the water. You are having troubles with something? Drink water. That's the first step you should always take. That's, that's a freebie. First step, drink water. Boom. The second tip for this, which is kind of like a 1A, is to add lemon to your water. And I know this might like interfere with your teeth because of the centric acid and all of that kind of stuff, but lemon and honey really help out your vocal cords. And it's not valid that having ice cold water or having super hot water is good for your vocal cords. Having room temperature water is the best water for your vocal cords. And having that water just heated up just a tiny bit and having lemon and honey added to it is going to help your vocal cords out immensely. I stand by that. Every time I would lose my voice, I would have a bottle of just water, lemon, and sometimes a little bit of honey but like no sugar, no none of that, because that just irks on your voice too. So just nasty lemon water that's kinda hot, drink that and you just keep it chill. Second tip is cough drops. I really stand by um, a certain brand of cough drops. This is not sponsored, of course, I don't, I don't have like 10,000 subscribers so why would it be sponsored this is not sponsored I just like the the cough drops they are Pine Brothers throat drops and they're like semi hard semi soft like you could just like put them inside of your tooth and just forget about them they're amazing and they help out my vocal cords so much it's wild the things that they do so those help out. I usually get, I've had the cherry kind, I've had the lemon kind. They're pretty good. They taste pretty good and they help out a lot. So, they. Of course, I'm not a doctor. So, take what I say next with a grain of salt. That's my disclaimer. You can, I can put this at the beginning of the video, but I felt like saying it now. Think about changing up your diet. It might help you out a little bit. I know that with me, I have um, acid reflux, and it helps, and it does wonderful things for my vocal cords, as in eats away at my singing voice, and also like strips my enamel from my teeth. Oh, glorious, beautiful, graceful. Oh, I, I know it's beautiful. You can tell that was a joke. But. With acid reflux, I have to take a lot of precautions to be able to sing and a lot of foods I'm not able to eat because I have a strict singing diet that I must follow in order for my voice to be at optimum predicament situation. Yeah. So, 
um, my diet includes um, no dairy, which I'm lactose intolerant, so I don't really worry about that anyways. I don't, I've cut dairy out of my um, diet for a while now, and if I do have dairy, which is like ice cream, I don't do cheese anymore. Cheese, no. No, will not do cheese. But I do lactose-free milk, I do ice cream, I usually try to get lactose-free ice cream, but if I do get regular ice cream, then I only do it like once a month or once every two months. It's a luxury and it's not a normal thing that I usually do. So dairy, try like decreasing it maybe or like cutting it out might work. And chocolate is included in this. I'm, I'm sorry, but like chocolate is not very good for your vocal cords if you wanted to know. It's not at all. But you can do other things instead of those things. And this includes spicy foods are not really good for your vocal cords and red foods are not really good for your vocal cords because the red foods usually just sit on your vocal cords or sit just right there and they, your vocal cords have to vibrate in order to make noise. So when something's sitting on it, it's not going to vibrate correctly. So there you go. So maybe think about cutting back on a couple of things that are not too good for your health. You can do your own research, of course, that will help out a lot. And also talk to your doctor about what you can do, because I'm not a doctor, like I said. Number four, maybe cut down on sodas. I know that we like our sodas. They're good for good reasons, and they taste wonderful. But do you need a Coca-Cola every day? Really? Now, if you medically need a Coca Cola every day, then you medically need a Coca Cola every day. Drink a Coca Cola, enjoy it. Yes, Coca Cola. But if you don't medically need it, maybe cut back on the vice a little bit. Maybe that'll help out your vocal cords. Again, substitute with water. Water's good. Um, number five, and this is my last tip. That'll help you not lose your voice, especially talking in neutral tones, but not whispering. Whispering damages your vocal cords more than yelling does. So talking in a normal tone at your optimal pitch will help out a lot. Alright, this has been my video and I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see y'all later. Bye!